What's up guys, your boy Darshkin, and today we're going to be talking about some of the best three-star weapons in the game. Now, I know a lot of people talk about four-star weapons, and a lot of people talk about five-star weapons, but there are some, some hidden gems when it comes to three-star weapons in this game that they do, like, insane things, right? They do, like, actually crazy things that a lot of people don't know about. So I wanted to go ahead and make a video talking about those so that you guys could know and have a better understanding of what some of these weapons do. So, um... We're going to go ahead and get into it. We're going to go through all of them. I don't know if you guys want me to do a video like this over the four-star weapons. But um, if you do, let me know, I guess. And I could whip that up or something. I don't know. Anyways, um, but let's go ahead and get into it. Starting out, Filet Blade. Now, Sky, Sky Rider Sword is all right, but it's not that good in my opinion. Filet Blade, though, right? So it gives attack base and attack percent. This right here is going to be the second stat, right? On hit has a 50% chance to deal 240% and then max is 400% damage to a single enemy can occur once every 11 seconds. This is basically like a mini prototype Aminus. But the thing about that is this is a one-handed sword and it procs in um, 11, every 11 seconds, which is going to be pretty, pretty often considering. Not to mention it has attack percent on it as well, which is going to be really nice. It's going to be really good for anyone that's going for a full damage type of build. Even if you want to build in a crit rate or whatever, this is going to help you because it has the attack percent on it. It's really, really nice. Um, another three-star weapon that I find really, really good is Harbinger of Dawn. This weapon is a beast. Crit damage percent on it. And then when HP is above 90%, increases crit rate by 28%. The crazy thing about this weapon, right? I actually run this weapon on my Kaching. I run this weapon, level 70 weapon, 38% crit damage on it. I run this weapon on my Kaching, right? Now, obviously, it's not going to scale as hard as a 5-star, 4-star weapon, but I don't have any other weapons giving me crit damage. That weapon, I, I use this on Kaching. So I just want to let y'all know, I, I ain't capping. I use this on my on my Kaching. She'd be critting for 3,000, 4,000 damage. Um, anyways, so yeah, there's that one. And then um, I think that's pretty much it for the ones in the sword. Now, obviously, you could debate any of these, but the main two that I find really good are F Filet Blade and then Harbinger of Dawn, in my opinion, right? It's my opinion. Now, moving on to bows. Um, starting with the three stars. Sharpshooter's Oath gives you crit damage as a percent, increases damage against weak spots by 48%. This is going to be really good for anyone that is trying to, that likes to aim with their bow user, right? So if you aim a lot with your bow user, getting the crit damage along with this is going to make you do like insane amount of damage. Um, so yeah, the, that is very good for anyone that like uses their R button on their bow user a lot. Really, really nice. Now Slingshot, crit rate. On the uh, percent and then if a normal attack or aim shot hits a target within 0.3 seconds of being fired increases damage by 60% otherwise it decreases damage by 10% so uh, cre wait uh, I'm pretty sure this is a little off I, I think that might be increases normal damage by 60 otherwise decreases range damage like your um charge shot damage by 10% I'm not sure if this is a, just not entirely I don't know, but anyways, um, you get a 60% damage increase, and you get crit rate, so you can go into a crit damage headpiece, which is really, really nice as well. Um, I don't know if I'm remembering correctly on this one, but I know this is a really good one, because I used it on uh, my bow, use. I used it on Venti in the beginning for, for a good while, before I got anything that was remotely decent, right? Now, um... And then, like, obviously the other ones, which are going to be these other ones, these are, like, kind of eh for me. I don't I don't think any of these other ones are really that good, in my opinion. Uh, but I, I think those two are definitely very good for anyone that's trying to use bows. Going on to pole arms. Now, keep in mind, there's only three pole arms that are, that are three-star, and this one... <laughs> This one gives you increased damage to slimes. It's not that good. Normal attack damage increased by 48%. This one is actually really good, right? Gives you crit rate and then gives you 48% damage boost, which that's really, really nice, right? Um, and then this one right here, 
Normal attacks deal an additional 320% damage can occur once every 10 seconds. This is like a mini prototype Eminus as well. So you can go into either of these two if you don't have like any, you know, any spears to use. Um, crit rate and then attack percent on that. Going into Claymore, Skyrider Greatsword. I've always thought this was a good one. It gives you physical damage bonus percent on hit or charged attacks. Increase attack by 10%. For six seconds, max four stacks can occur once at point you know once every 0.5 seconds. That means that you can get a total of 40% damage increase plus you're getting the physical damage bonus. Like that's going that's really really nice in my opinion. Now obviously you know uh, if you don't like it, I get it because I know a lot of people don't like physical damage builds, but you know um, white iron greatsword is a good weapon for I guess for Noel. But outside of that, I don't really see anyone using it. It gives you HP back, but I don't like running defense for anyone else is just not it. Um, debate club, fan favorite. Everyone loves the debate club, the, and there's reason. There's a reason why. Number one, it gives you attack percent as the uh, second stat after using an elemental skill, normal or charged attack. So basically, after playing the game, on a hit deal an additional 120 percent attack damage in a small area. Effect lasts for 15 seconds. Damage can only occur once every three seconds. Meaning that you're going to get five procs of this, right? So five procs of 120 is what? 600%? So you're getting 600% damage if every hit proc hits. Um, that's that's really nice. Really, really nice. Um, Blood Tainted Greatsword, I've always thought was a really nice one. Gives you elemental mastery, increases damage against enemies affected by pyro or electro by 24%. Um, a lot of units like Razor or D Luke could benefit from this. So um, I've always thought this is a really nice sword to have if you're going to be comboing with those two characters among others. So, anyways, those are pretty much it for those. And then last, you got the Catalyst uh, Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers. Everyone knows. This says base HP, but it gives you HP percent. I don't know why it says base HP. Anyways, when switching characters, the new character taking the field has their attack increased by 48%. This effect can only occur once every 20 seconds. This is like the thing to use for a lot of people, you know, that have Barbara, which everyone should have Barbara. But yeah, a lot of people run this. I run this on my Barbara. Switch her in, switch her out, get that attack boost. You can run this on Mona if you're going for those like super high damage mona ult sh like combinations um really really nice weapon to use really easy to acquire nothing crazy uh magic guide is kind of good for like lisa you know increases damage affected by hydro or electro by 24 percent. that's pretty nice i mean mona too but you know um i mean besides those two that's pretty much it I i'm pretty sure those two are the only ones that but anyways those are like some of the best or pretty much the best three-star weapons in the game for any of those. Now, obviously, I, I know before anyone says it, why would I use these if I could just build me, you know, I could just craft me one. Well, that's the thing, right? There's multiple instances of characters except for Zhang Ling. She's the only spear user right now. But as far as um, any other character in the game, there are multiple. Like say you have Chi Chi and then you have Jean, right? They both use one-handed swords. Say you have Chi Chi or, you know, MC or you have Gene or MC or whatever the case may be say you're running Venti Fischl You're not always going to have multiple bows for those characters So these could be some options that you can use especially if you're in the early game You don't have to max these out to level 70 You can rock these at what like level 40 level 50 until you get an actual good weapon or you can craft an actual good weapon And that way you'll have something that you can use if you ever want to feed this into something else for XP You can it's not gonna be a bad choice i'm gonna keep this book but you know just if whatever you want to do but anyways that's gonna be it for this video be sure to give it a like subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below tell me what you guys said in the comment section below with that being said i'll see you guys next time peace